Nobody seemed to notice when Albuquerque public officials misspent a ton of public money. But Larry Barker noticed. It's part of a little known multi million dollar pot of cash the city of Albuquerque quietly doles out every year. Tonight, Larry follows the money trail. It's not just an extra pot of money sitting around. There are definite consequences on the misuse of public funds. Does it look like Lodger's tax money was misspent? Absolutely, it was misspent, absolutely. It's been going on for years. Albuquerque officials have been quietly misspending tens of thousands of dollars, and the evidence is scattered all over the city. For example, they stashed Exhibit A right here at the airport. Thousands of people pass by it every day, and it's likely not one of them knows what it is. Well, it's an eight-foot-tall steel cauldron constructed for the Senior Olympics held in Albuquerque last summer. And we are testing out the flame for the Senior Games. The problem is not that the city had a cauldron. The problem is how they paid for it. When $20,000 was shelled out for the custom-made steel apparatus and a propane tank to keep it lit, city officials improperly raided a little-known pot of money earmarked for tourism. Those are dollars intended for a very specific purpose. State Senator George Munoz serves on the Senate Finance Committee. And so when you take those dollars and shift them to something that you're not supposed to use them for, then we have issues. It's an obscure treasure trove of cash called lodger's tax. Authorized by the legislature, it's a fee collected from hotel guests and then turned over to the city to promote tourism. Last year, Albuquerque collected more than $13 million in lodger's tax. State Senator John Arthur Smith chairs Senate Finance. The lodger's tax was a uh, piece of legislation passed in 1969. Purpose was to uh, expand tourism. The idea behind lodger's tax is to attract out-of-town visitors. City officials are permitted to spend the proceeds on advertising publicizing and promoting tourist facilities, attractions, and convention centers. While a flaming cauldron was a nice touch for the senior games, the use of lodger's tax to pay for it was contrary to the statute. And in 2016, someone at City Hall apparently thought spending $414,000 in lodger's tax on parking meters would somehow attract tourists. Bill Fulginetti heads up New Mexico's Municipal League. Do you think the legislature intended for uh, lodger's tax to be used to buy parking meters? I would tell you that they never thought about parking meters when they did the original statute. Adrian Perez is president of Heritage Hotels and Resorts. To spend $400,000 for parking meters using lodger's tax, appropriate expense, your opinion? No, absolutely not. In my opinion, it was not an appropriate use of lodger's tax. I would have questioned the use of those funds. Albuquerque Municipal Development Director Pat Montoya says the parking meters were bought during the previous administration. If that expenditure would have hit my desk, I would have not signed off on it. In 2017, city officials used lodger's tax to buy gates, ticket booths, and computer equipment for a downtown parking garage. Price tag, $59,000. Hmm. That one, I would say, does not appear to be an appropriate use of lodger's tax. Michelle Dressler is president of the Albuquerque Hotel and Lodgers Association. It's not bringing tourists here. It's not advertising our city. It's just a parking garage. And then there's the quarter of a million dollars the city shelled out for a mountain of dirt, sod, and clay. The expense relates to Albuquerque's new soccer franchise, which uses Isotopes Park. Every time New Mexico United plays a game, Isotopes Park has to be converted from a baseball field to a soccer field. After the game, crews reverse the process, hauling off soccer dirt and sod and replacing it with baseball dirt and sod. 
Last year, the city converted Isotopes Park to a soccer field six times using $270,000 in lodger's tax to pay for it. Remember, lodger's tax expenditures are supposed to generate tourism from out-of-town visitors. I'm a huge fan of the soccer team. I think, uh, I think it's been great for our community as well. I just don't think soccer conversions and fields um, are the best, best and wisest use of those dollars. Pat Montoya says the soccer conversion is an appropriate use of lodgers tax. How does that sod promote tourism? The team needs a field to play on. So once you have that, you're a, you, it's a draw. You're attracting people to come to those games. I mean, without the field, without the clay, without the grass, there is no place for the team to play. I still consider it to be a promotion of some sort. And when soccer players borrow the Isotopes locker room, the city bought a cover to protect the baseball players' lockers. Price tag, $2,600 from Lodgers Tax. By what stretch of the imagination would that be an appropriate use of lodger's tax? That one I don't know that we can actually stretch to say that would be an appropriate use. The city used uh, $2,600 in lodger's tax to buy coverings for the clubhouse locker room. How is that an appropriate use of lodger's tax? How do we justify using lodger's tax? Um, I guess, Larry, I just I can't justify it. I mean, I, I it's a $2,600 expenditure that could be questionable. And then there's Mayor Keller's pet project, a 17,000 pound hunk of steel. It's a sign that says one Albuquerque. You know, it's a one Albuquerque sculpture, yeah. City Hall footed the bill with $39,000 in lodger's tax. And even though it's touted as a mobile sculpture, it takes a crane and a flatbed truck to move it. Cost of the crane, 10 grand, paid for by lodger's tax. Of course. So why use Lodger's tax? You know, for me, I mean, obviously I was okay doing it. It's not uh, something that I put a whole lot of thought into which type of funding, but I think fundamentally I was okay with it because it's marketing and it is trying to promote our city. Now, Mayor Keller is sort of an expert on Lodger's tax. When he was state auditor, he issued a special report detailing the appropriate use of Lodger's tax expenditures. It's a nice thing to have for people to see and take pictures with, but that people aren't coming here for that. And that's what we're looking for, what's going to bring them here to the city. That's just another thing you see while you're here. It definitely is a questionable use of the lodger's tax. What do you think, Senator? Proper use of lodger's tax? Absolutely not. What does a mobile sign do for tourism? Under state law, there are no penalties if someone misuses Lodger's tax. What's your message to any municipality that thinks that they can get away with misspending Lodger's tax money? As chair of the Senate Finance Committee, uh, my message is you better stop it, you better correct it. Remember that $20,000 cauldron used for 13 days last summer? Well, what do you do with old cauldrons you don't use anymore? You know where it is today, Senator? No, I don't. At the airport. The airport. <laughs> Really, we need a cauldron at the airport. <laughs> doesn't make sense. It, it's, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13.